Hey everyone, Debbie back again. Uh, just a quick video just to show you uh, another tea bag. Uh, for this particular one, I haven't primed it or anything, it's just the used tea bag, and I've just pulled it apart to its full size. And what most everything on here is just going to be leftovers or used pieces or recycled pieces. Um, I did this was a piece of perforated paper that was left over from a um, Christmas ornament that I did. And I had seen an image of a computer with a little piece of paper stuck to a bulletin board with a coffee cup and a donut. Um, and I wanted to be able to cross stitch it. So I've done a... Now don't laugh because this is was quickly done for myself. I've done a piece of graph paper uh, and just laid everything out. The perforated paper is 14 count and you can use Ada or perforated paper. Uh, I'm going to have a link in the description below uh, where you can pick up this um, graph and it will also have an image of the finished piece on it so you can see what it looks like. But uh, I'll post the link for this graph and it's just very rough. It was done originally for me but I thought I'd share it in case somebody wanted to do it. I did my text on my sewing machine but I did a really simple text on here if you want to stitch it. So we'll just put it together. Everything is recycled or, or leftovers. This is leftover uh, deli paper that I had uh, done for another project so I'm just going to put that in the background. I have a piece of jute. These are the these are the um, things that I it's a piece of muslin and I put uh, my text on that with my sewing machine so we're going to put it all together. Uh, for the deli paper I'm just going to use matte medium. All right, I, <clears throat> I'm really still struggling with this camera. Hopefully I don't keep putting my head in the way. Okay, I'm going to dry this and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I have the background applied with matte medium. And then I'm going to add this was a piece off of, I think it was oranges. Oranges or lemons. Just, you know, that netting that they put around them. 
So um, it's real stretchy. I'm just going to sort of stretch it out of shape a bit so it just doesn't look square. And I'll put that on next. And then I've got a piece of leftover jute. Put that there. And I think maybe I think I'm just going to attach this with a uh, with staples. I think I got this stapler at like, well here the bargain store, ours is called Bargain City. I think that's where I got that. And I'm just going to try to staple, oops. <coughs> And I think I'm going to use, this is Montmartre's Gel Medium. I think it's an Australian brand. Oops. I'm sticking. And that's all I was going to do to it. Um, so anyway, like I said, I will put the link in the description box at the bottom. Um, I can get that in there or not. Uh, for the cross stitch pattern and... Um, that's it. Um, like I said, you don't have to do...